Francesca Cateto, you are the marketing manager Europe from pointing antennas. You have three mobile antennas here, very interesting. Can you just say a little bit about your job and about these antennas? Sure. Uh, my name is Francisca Catet. I'm working at Pointing Europe as European Marketing Manager. My goal is achieving the best of the best, best in terms of relationship between Pointing and our partners. We just, just don't want just to sell the antennas, but to add value to a reliable and confident connectivity. There are three different antennas. Can you say a little bit what they are meant for? They are all for mobile, for cars? Yes, that's right. So we have here three different examples according to sizes and also according to colors. All the three antennas can be prepared for black and white colors. These are the different size. And yes, they are really focused on mobility markets. One is bigger, one is smaller. Is the bigger better? So, these three antennas are all for 4G and 5G and optional for Wi-Fi and GPS. Oh, GPS also. Very interesting. So, you always know where your car is running or standing. As we are saying, we have here three different antennas. Each of antennas are really focused in a specific goal. And here in the antennas, the size it will matter so for example the puck antennas which is the smaller one you can have a reliable and stable connectivity at your place in the town not far away from the city but for example if you want to go to the countryside or if you have a holiday house you should you should choose this one because the size is better so the far you are from the cell or base station you should choose this one, the MIMO 3. But if you want a balance and if you want the best choice, you should choose the MIMO 4. The MIMO 4 is obviously the best choice if you are in town and also if you are in a remote areas. So here you will achieve higher throughput and here for the puck you will achieve lower throughput. So obviously you can put this antenna on the roof of your cars and what if you are driving 200 kilometers per hour, will they stay on it? Definitely. It's really safe. We have all different mounting options. But for that specific answer, yes, you can drive safely with the limited speeds, of course, but it will be no problem at all. How can you mount it on the roof of your vehicle? Okay, so you have two options for mounting uh, in your car. You have a spigot where you can drill the hole in the seal of your car and then you have a magnetic one, a magnetic mounting option that you, it's very flexible and you can put it or leave it from the car. So if you mount it on the roof of your car, can you also drive through washing machines? Sure, of course. You have two different mounting options. The second one, with the spigot, you just drill a hole on the ceiling and you mount very well with the spigot all the three antennas. If you go to a car wash or if you have high pressure in terms of water, there's no problem at all. Can one install these antennas also on passenger vehicles where people are sitting in the cars? Yes, you can. All the three different series of antennas have the E-Mark certification. Here you have three different models with different price range. So the Puck series, you can have it for 150. The MIMO 4, which is the best choice, you can have it for more or less 195. And the last one, the MIMO 3 series, you can have it for 250. Of course, this depends on the versions and on the models. Are the cables included in the price? Yes, all the cables are included in the price and of course in the antennas. We have the cables with the length of 2 meters with SMA connectors. Where would one find these antennas in the markets? Who are your typical users? So our applications are really, really big. You can find 
these three different and important models at RVs. You can find in caravans, also you can find in roadside service cars, you can find on trucks. So all of them, as I said, has eMark certification, so you can mount wherever you feel it's needed to have the best and the reliable connectivity and also city buses or travel buses. For example, we have a very good, nice project, the Bayer Leverkusen buses, which have our antenna. And also blue light services, such as police, ambulances and fire trucks. So where can you use these antennas when it comes to frequencies? Do they understand all 4G and 5G frequencies? Yes, the answer is a big yes. This has a coverage worldwide. Our frequency range from these antennas and all of our portfolio antennas covers a lot of in terms of frequency range from all over the world. So which would be the typical routers that you connect these antennas to? You can connect our antennas with different kinds of router brands such as Teltonica, Cradlepoint, Adventech, Draytech, Silray and also Fritzbox. Oh, it's a DB7. Okay, you can even talk James against Bond. this because this uh, we are in the motor world. Ah, okay. I, oh, I James Bond? Oh, James Bond car, yeah. yeah. The fans will know when they hear. Yes, yes, I think so. Okay. <laughs> and, okay, try to shout against it. Huh? Okay. The nicest thing is that all the router brands in all over the world will perform much better with our external pointing antennas. Thank you very much for this nice interview, Francesca. Thank you so much for the invitation.